The trail was gradual for the first eight to nine miles before beginning a 2,600 foot ascent with gorgeous views of the spires at Castle Crags. We just finished day two of our hike. Um, first day was pretty good. We had a nine mile pretty easy, um, maybe nine, 10 mile pretty easy start. Um, and then a nice big climb at the end and we camped on a ridge, trying to take it easy for our first couple days so we don't sort of break ourselves off right at the beginning. Um, and then today was a beautiful, beautiful ridge walk, um, pretty dry most of the trail in between uh, the ridge at the top of the climb coming out of Crassel Crags. Got lots of beautiful views of Shasta, Lassen in the distance, as well as the back of the crags and made our way up to Porcupine Lake where we were reminded that it is actually Friday and there are a lot of people headed out into the wilderness. So got a lot of folks camped here, but it's beautiful. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow we're Headed another 14 to 16 miles, still trying to keep uh, mileage a little bit lighter here in the first couple days to work through all the aches and pains. Stopping for breakfast at Deadfall Lake. Usually hike a few miles and then stop at a water source for some nice breakfast. Uh, but check out this dope lake. Oh my gosh. All right, coming up on the end of day two. Day got three. Day, yep, day three. <laughs> Don't even know what day it is. Um, got to Chilcote Creek, which was our original backstop a little bit early in the day. So I decided to push another couple miles towards Bull Lake, which is down there. Um, just arbitrarily climbed up like 300 feet just to climb back down it, but we're gonna stay on the trail just to be nice to nature. Um, feeling pretty good, both having some feet. Well, Shasta. Oh yeah, and we got, Mount Shasta back in the distance, which we've been, have the pleasure of looking at for the last few days. Mark, what's your favorite thing about this campsite? It's funny, I was just saying, um, last night we stayed at a campsite at a lake about this size but there was maybe like 30 to 40 people there. And then you're like camping right next to somebody. And people were getting up to pee all night and neither of us slept well. Because <laughs> we thought the people were bears. Coming to get Carly's food. To be fair, I thought the people rummaging around their bags were a raccoon getting into my food. I actually didn't think it was a bear, yeah, but- no, I didn't think it was a bear either, but I thought it was a critter. A small critter of some sort. What's and your here we are this campsite and we're the only ones we had a nice view of shafts on the way up too hey everybody checking in from the end of day four um <laughs> so today we um we did about 17 miles from bull lake and we just stopped at the like a outlet creek meadow like a really beautiful spot um can't really see it um just a ways up in the just inside the trinity alps wilderness area so yeah, um, we realized today that we thought we were making really good time this whole last couple days and that we were going to finish this leg in five days and then realized that we accidentally omitted a full 20 mile section of the trail from our calculations. So we will be completing this section in seven days, but our last day will be probably only four or five miles. Um, yeah, so we got uh, another two full days, um, slightly shorter than the days we've been doing because there's no no need to go faster at this point 
um, trying to continue to let our bodies harden a little bit to the trail so we don't get super fucked up at the beginning. Uh, yeah. All right. Checking out. What, uh, what was waiting for you at the top of the saddle? My iron throne. Ah, it's so cold on my back. <laughs> yeah, my wooden throne. Nice. This trip, backpacking, the whole experience is me trying to let go of self-limiting beliefs, starting from a space of abundance and optimism rather than fear. Hello, checking in from the top of day six. We did not check in yesterday. Um, yesterday was a shorter day, we realized, because we accidentally reduced our number of days we thought this was this leg was that if we tried to hike it in six, we would end up at Etna Summit at like in the evening time and not be able to get to Etna. So there was really no point. So we slowed ourselves down yesterday and went through a pretty um, hot exposed burn scar for most of the afternoon. Um, and found ourselves at a little beautiful oasis on the South Fork of the Scott River. Decided to just post up at 2 p.m. and hang out for the rest of the day. So. I think we just climbed up most of the elevation that we lost yesterday afternoon. Um, and we're headed to a lake today um, and then have a pretty short four or five mile um, clip into Etna tomorrow. All right. The morning's hike felt easy. We didn't have coffee or breakfast because we'd run out of food, so we made our way down trail, hitched a ride into Etna, before promptly getting a delicious egg and sausage sandwich. Then, town chores commenced. <laughs> hey, so we've had a, a pretty good time. It's, um, the first two days have been pretty easy. Somebody has something to say. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened just now? <laughs> yeah, it's been a good time. All right, see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Carly farted. Men coming to take Carly's food now. Hey, Mark, what's your favorite thing about this lake? Snakes. What's your least favorite thing about this this lake? The muddy bottom. Oh my god. Is that an Instagram star? <laughs> <laughs>